Hey guys, Matt here, and this is Shan. And what are we doing, Shan? We're building a bioactive vivarium. This is Luna, Shannon's bamboo ball python. At first, I really wasn't receptive to having a snake as a pet. I pictured snakes like this. But it turns out, ball pythons look like this. When I first met Luna, she was less than a foot long, and I thought she looked like a cute little danger noodle. Now, she's over three feet long and is too big for her current habitat. What's different about this compared to the normal one? Like the one that you have right now. How is it going to be different? Um, the normal one has like a bunch of fake stuff in it, like fake leaves and decorations. But this one is all going to have real dirt, real plants, real sticks and other things from the earth. It will also have a little cleanup crew, like a little colony of bugs called isopods and springtails. And they are supposed to clean up Luna's messes. Cool. So, uh, we have to build this one? Yes. Okay. All the pieces in here? I should probably help, huh? Oh, yeah. All the rest of them. All these plants are gonna be in here, right? Yeah. It's a lot of plants. Do you know their names? Nope. <laughs> Never done anything with foam. First time for everything, babe. Insulating foam sealant. Good luck. Expands to fill, seal, and insulate. Ah! Looks really good, babe. So, this is gonna be the back, and the plant. When this dries, we, what are we gonna do? When, when it, what are we gonna do tomorrow, babe? <laughs> when it dries, we're gonna shape it by cutting off chunks, and then we're going to make it look like a realistic background by spreading black silicone all over it, and then covering it with like dirt and moss. Mm -hmm. So the background will just be like completely covered in dirt and moss. And then once that's dry, we fill the pots with plants. So there'll be lots of hanging plants in the background. Sounds great, babe. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, so it is the next day and Shan, uh, what's the next step? The next step is to carve it. So I have to cut back a lot of this foam to make it a lot thinner, smoother and smaller. Cool. That's not a bad idea. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> right, this is what we got so far. That's our background with all the plant holders, some bark, a uh, giant stick, <laughs> and we're gonna basically paint it with dirt <laughs> and plant the plants in the, in the pots. Cool. All right, let's get to it. All right, so what are you doing now? That looks really good. Yeah. We're gonna cover it in black silicone and then cover it in a sphagnum, sphagnum? Sphagnum, I think. Sphagnum moss. Yeah. Sphagnum moss and Cocoa fiber. This will be the background to make it look natural. And I'll put plants in there. Cool.
Okay, this is what we got so far. All right. And they're kind of scratching on the scratching posts. Hey, Coco. <laughs> you guys are making this great. Thanks. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> what that was. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> we covered the background with cocoa fiber, some sphagnum moss, and now we're just making sure we've covered all the gaps. I'm also going to just like trim some of the scraggly pieces with some scissors. So what's the plan now, babe? Hmm. I would like to put the plants on the wall. Hey guys, we're planning on getting Luna into her uh, new habitat um, today. Right now, we're just letting it finish curing. Well, it should be finished, uh, but to help get um, the chemical smell and stuff out, we just have a little fan in there. And tonight, uh, hopefully, we have Luna in here. Hey Shan, what you doing? I am placing the heat mat so that Luna has a warm side of her habitat. Ball pythons need a warm side, so they, because they're cold-blooded, they need to thermoregulate with their environment. Mm -hmm. So they go from the hot side to the cold side, depending on if they need to get colder or hotter. So the heat mat is the best place, best source of heat for them, because it helps them digest their food better, and it's I think it's easier to control than a light because you can use a thermostat with it to make sure it's, that it's at a safe temperature. Cool. And we have moved it in. Mm -hmm. This looks really good. I need to put the thermostat on and connect the heat mat. We're going to mix the new substrate with the isopod substrate and the uh, substrate that's currently in her tank because then she'll recognize the smells and oh, yeah. she'll adapt. Hello. Ah, she stuck her head out. <laughs> Hello, sorry we're making so much noise. Hello Luna, you're internet famous. <laughs> Smile! This is what she does every time she wants to eat. She sticks her little head up and flicks her tongue. So these are the thing, bio, the cleanup crew. This is isopods, which is the proper term for roly-poly, and springtails. Let's see if we can find any. There's a isopod right here. Those little white things that keep scurrying around. They look like little mini pieces of rice with legs. The springtails are the ones that are more jumpy. They're really, really tiny. I'm just gonna sprinkle them around. Ready for your new home. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be so awesome. You'll never be bored again. You're folded very weird, but it's okay. It's a perfect way to pick you up. Alright. Wow. It looks like my hive, but it's in a very different place. <laughs> <laughs> wow, she looks very interested, very, very interested. 
So what made you want to do this? I wanted a bioactive vivarium because I just like the way they look. I think they look really pretty with mm -hmm. all the live plants. Um, I just also think like from an enrichment standpoint, like when a snake needs enrichment, constant enrichment. I think like some when there's like a lot of life inside the cage, it kind of means that every day is different for her. That's like cool. plants grow, plants die. There's now isopods and springtails in there that all live. And then if, as plants grow, as plants die, I can like replace them and they, that's different versus before where it was just all folk stuff. Every day was the same. The same smells, the same stuff. So, so it's like a constant changing environment for her. So she doesn't ever get like really super bored. Mm. So, and I think it's just nice that Normally in the wild, they live in a wild environment, and I wanted to have something for her that would be close to what she experiences in the wild. Are you gonna do the tongue? <laughs>